when you go to a circus or a place where they have elephants being kept for some tame purpose, elephant rides or whatnot, you can find that the elephants are kept in place with a chain around one foot and that chain is connected to a stake in the ground. Of course the elephant is able to just pull on that chain and drag that stake out of the ground like as though you were pulling a candle out of a birthday cake. But the elephant doesn't do that. And the reason for that is that the elephant, when it was a baby and all cute and tiny, and when it was truly not strong enough to pull a stake out of the ground, it was chained as a baby to that stake. And as a baby elephant, it would try and pull against the stake. And of course, the chain wouldn't break and the stake would not be able to be successfully pulled out of the ground. And so the elephant, as a baby, would learn after some time that it could not pull the stake out of the ground. After some time as a baby, the elephant would learn that it could not free itself. And that lesson stayed with the elephant. As it grew, as it matured, as it became an adult elephant that could easily pull that stake out of the ground. With just one tug, it could pull that stake out of the ground. It could walk away about as easily as slicing butter with a hot knife. But the elephant does not. The elephant stays put obediently and loyally because it learned the truth as a baby that it could not escape the chain and the stake. And that truth remained true in the elephant's mind and so it became true in reality. While the elephant is lifting locks with its trunk, it returns faithfully to its place by the stake in the ground and remains chained there because in its mind it has learned the truth that it is unable to walk free. Although the truth has changed in the real world and the elephant is now a huge, powerful beast. In its mind, it is still a baby, unable to break free from the chain. What have you outgrown? What have you outgrown that you were once unable to do, but now you are able to do. But yet, you are unable to do it simply because you still believe that you are unable to do it. Whatever you learned when you were from zero to five years old, It becomes an incredible truth in your mind. Now, 
you may be 35 now you may be 40 and the truth might have changed completely but if in your mind the root the truth remains unchanged then the things that you were told when you were five years old remain true when you are 35. I hope that what you were told when you were five years old is that you were lovable and you were accepted and you were cherished. Many people do not have that kind of programming. Many people have been told that they are useless, naughty, disobedient, lazy, stupid. Do these things seem to be more resonant? Do they seem to roll off my tongue more easily than the positive affirmations sadly most of us the vast swath of humanity receive negative programming as toddlers and as children why is that well let's not get into the why but let's just talk about the fact that too many people most people receive negative programming as children. <clears throat> you might have been told that you are not worthwhile. You might have been told that you're useless. You might have been told that you're a loser. You might have been told that you won't amount to anything. And as a five-year-old, you know what? That might have been true. If you throw a five-year-old kid out into the world, that kid might not survive. So it might be true at five years old that you might be so-called useless, helpless is the more accurate word. But now you might be 35 or you might be 45 or you might even be 25 and you are no longer helpless. You are no longer worthless. You are not a loser. The truth has changed, but if in your mind the truth has not been challenged, has not been changed, then the false truth of your childhood may remain true in your mind. You might think you're a loser when you're not. You might think you're useless when you're not. You might think that you're doomed when you're not. You are no longer hopeless. You are no longer helpless. You are no longer ignorant. You have learned much. You are able to live, to survive, to thrive. Those old truths are no longer true. Look at yourself objectively and Embrace the present truth of who you are. Embrace the present truth of who you are.